Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Jack Maney. We're in for yet another hot day outside, and actually, if you just saw over the shoulder in the corner, there was a lightning strike as we have a couple of isolated thunderstorms that have popped up out there this morning. Let's take a look over at that tower cam. Maybe we'll get another lightning stroke in there before we have to move on into the show a little bit further. There we go. That was nice. We got a couple of thunderstorms way off towards the north, but they are not really going to be moving in the direction of Lubbock, and I don't think we're going to see much more development than what we have out there right now for this morning. East winds 6 miles per hour and temperatures at 76 degrees we're actually seeing a little bit more cooling this morning as a result of that out of outflow winds from all of those thunderstorms we had around yesterday during the afternoon hours. There's those thunderstorms up there close to the Dimmit area northwest of Plainview, west of Tulia. Those are generally drifting towards the west and northwest away from the Lubbock area, so we will probably not be seeing much in the way of any precipitation outside this morning, just partly to mostly cloudy skies to start out the day. And here's a look at our rainfall totals from yesterday, the last 24 hours. We might see a little bit of that coming up in Dimmit here in just a little bit, but right now officially no rain has fallen there yet. Look at those totals out to the east. We got 79 hundredths of an inch out in Dickens and also 0.58 inches reported in post, two hundredths of an inch in Brownfield, or two tenths of an inch, should I say. We've got a little bit of rainfall at the Lubbock Airport, 17 hundredths, but on the south sides of town where I, where I live, I did not see any rain. So there were quite a few spots in the Lubbock Metro that stayed completely dry. A few spots nearby did see some of that good rainfall. Unfortunately, these spotty thunderstorms don't really provide rainfall for everybody, and that's really all of our rain chances coming up for the foreseeable future are going to be of this nature. So this morning, starting out with temperatures low to middle 70s, a couple 80 degree readings out in the rolling plains where things have not cooled down quite as much, but still a little bit better on the temperature front than it was yesterday. Uh, but this morning or this afternoon, things are going to get just as bad as they did with our temperature expected to reach about 100 degrees this afternoon. Still a very hot day. Isolated thunderstorms still in the forecast. Not as good of a chance today, though, as yesterday. Only a 10% shot of a few of those storms popping up during the afternoon. But most spots to the east will be reaching the middle 100s to up to about 104, maybe 105 degrees for some spots out in the rolling plains. Upper 90s, low triple digits for areas on the cap rock just in those slightly higher elevations closer to the Lubbock Metro and winds not going to be too bad. Just a light south southeasterly breeze throughout the afternoon. So our, th our storm chances today are going to be mostly confined to the afternoon. Once again, expecting storms to develop once we hit peak daytime heating in the afternoon. Just a few isolated pop up storms here and there. Best chances will be out towards the west closer to the Texas New Mexico state line where there will be a little bit better moisture in the air. So that should provide at least a little bit more widespread coverage, but not by much. Only a 20% chance out that out to the west. 10% coverage here in Lubbock up to about the edge of the Cap Rock Rolling Plains. Unfortunately, y'all are going to be staying dry today with almost no rain chance out to the east. Heading into this weekend, though, we are going to shut our rain chances off completely by Saturday. Things are going to be hot. They're going to be dry. 98 degrees, maybe slightly cooler than today, but still expecting to be quite toasty during the afternoon hours. And if you are getting out and doing any tax-free weekend shots, you'll definitely need to remember your heat safety precautions if you have to be outdoors for any extended periods of time. Just make sure that you're staying hydrated. Light colored loose fitting fabrics also a great way to keep that heat off your skin. High temperatures today on Saturday 98 degrees 97 expected on Sunday and that's going to be the result of high pressure moving back into our upper levels of the atmosphere. That's going to be shutting down our rain chances once again as it moves on overhead and keeping us very hot through next week. But we are expecting that high to be shifting around just a little bit and that could definitely bring in a little bit of cooling by Monday and Tuesday with temperatures actually falling fairly close down to average and maybe bringing a few more of those isolated thunderstorm chances into the forecast by Tuesday or Wednesday, but still looking like a mostly dry forecast for the week ahead. Well, thanks so much, Jack, but still to come on bright and early, we have a look at